What is going on friends? We're back here with Pokemon Reborn. If I sound a little bit different today, that might be because I'm finally back uh, at my apartment. I'm back home after break. Well, by the time you guys see this, it'll be way it'll be way before break. I'm way ahead of my uploading schedule, but that also means that my semester is about to start and definitely by the time that you guys see this, um, that does mean that the uploading schedule might start to slow down, slow down a little bit. So just letting you guys know. So, I decided to- oh my goodness! I'm- I'm sorry. <laughs> this, oh my god. This shit is loud as hell. Okay. That works. Yeah, I totally for- yeah, cause I'm- I'm on another PC, I'm on my desktop. I transferred my save file and... damn. <laughs> that came in pretty loud. I'm gonna edit that so it doesn't sound that loud, but... Uh, okay, I adjusted my volume. And I'm pretty much at the at the same place we were before, but that doesn't mean that I haven't done anything. We've leveled up quite a bit, particularly to the point that if my RNG uh, is in my favor, because I believe the Arceus spawns at like like it has different IVs. Well, maybe not IVs, knowing Amethyst, but probably a different nature every time. So I think, uh, or actually I don't know. I actually have no idea if the Arceus is set or not. But I did a couple of test battles, and after a speed boost. My Blaziken does outspeed after one speed boost this time. So, basically, okay, so I read up some field notes. L let me show you guys. Uh, Poke Gear field notes. Crystal Cavern. Okay, so not only this judge is Judgment a lot stronger here, but it also gets a random type, two of which my Blaziken resists, so it's kind of gonna be a 50-50 of whether I survive or not. And then after that I can go for a bulk up and one hit KO it with High Jump Kick because I did add, add on the Fist Plate. So that's basically gonna be the strategy for today. And I already went through all this dialogue last time so I'm not gonna go ahead and bother with uh, any of that. Just gonna fast forward through all of this, go ahead. <laughs> we don't need to hear all of this, we already know we choose Radimus. Um And thank you all for the helpful comments on on the uh, recent Reborn episodes. Because like only, this is like episode 15 and I just released episode 11. So we're way ahead. But uh, I apparently, like, so it was really just coincidence that I got all the right choices. Not even gonna lie. So, but this is gonna be just like, it, like it's random. I, I can't control it. Okay, I got a good one. Nice. That's still so strong though. And I don't even know if I'll be faster after this because I don't know if the RC is berries or not. Or maybe it's a speed tie. I don't know. But doesn't seem like it. Go for high jump. Oh no, it lived! Damn it. I actually. Oh no, L is gonna have a full restore. I already know it. Because in one of my test battles, um. Shit. <laughs> it killed last time, I swear it killed. But L, oh he didn't even use a, I guess he only has full heals, but now I can paralyze it, nice. And even with another round of leftovers, Thunderbolt should be enough to kill. Okay, nice. And I get an ungodly amount of experience, which I appreciate, but okay, we got that, I wouldn't say first try, but I got a ton of money, I spent a lot of money, so. This helps out definitely. Helps out a lot. As but a false idol, it cannot hope to mimic the Lord's true power. Damn it, I, I have to get used to editing the audio on. Because every time I record Reborn, I have to turn down the game audio because it still comes out way too loud, no matter what. So I'll have to get used to, to doing that on this computer as well because to me it seems like it's louder this time. Even after I turned it down to how I usually do it. So, the real guard of war, uh, Radim is new all, all along, of course, of course. Looks like it's my move now, okay. <laughs> so like, the guards of guard of war, um, okay, you know what, I'm gonna be real with you guys. The first time I played this game on myself, up to this point, I chose L, because like, I didn't notice the difference in speech patterns, like, yeah, there is the tilde, um, and like, guards of guard of war, like, I just... Like, after a few times playing the game, I just realized, like, 
I can't imagine her being anything but just like happy-go-lucky and cheery. Like that's her personality. And so, <laughs> uh, give her the one KO. Give her the uh, the one-two knockout punch hypnosis. Even though it was only about a 60% chance of hitting that, doesn't matter. And there again, we go with the with the hat changes. If you could have just had Garvor teleport at any time, why bother coming all the way down here? Well, he probably has an interest in L, considering maybe... I'm willing to bet he knows, at least, that Team Meteor is, is in cahoots with him. Because Luna asked me to, okay. Well, uh, I don't really buy it. So, he's definitely keeping something a secret about why he actually came down here. But, I guess it was really just for the purpose of advancing the plot and revealing the, the Arceus connection to what is down here. <laughs> I actually did get spoiled on like who the episode 16 gym leader is. Oh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you really shouldn't be so surprised. I asked in the first place. I mean, yeah, he knew... Um... Yeah, he knew it was Ditto all along. Of course. So, of course, th that means you're gonna take me with me, right? Of course not. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you guys are shit. You, get you can't just leave me here, man. Because now I have to go all the way through route. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother all of that. I'm gonna pause, and we'll be back when we are at Radimus' place. And, oh, I didn't even know you could encounter him. Huh? What are these strong? What are these strong as Pokemon? Okay, never mind. It's an unknown. It was level 69. I have a speed negative nature, and I still outsped it. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a minute. What is going on? And okay, another thing about <laughs> if you notice like a difference in like the screen settings, like when I was on my laptop, there tended to be two black bars on the side. That's just because. In full screen, uh, obviously my screen is a lot smaller and it has to do something with the resolution of the game. If I had kept full screen mode this time, then not only would I would have would I uh, not only would I have had bars on the side, but also on the bottom, and it just doesn't look complete. So I just decided to go back into the large windowed mode, which is actually pretty big on my screen on my desktop because it's a lot bigger than my laptop, of course. So. You guys will be getting actual full screen this time. And the reason I unpaused here is because... Yeah, this. This mysterious voice that speaks to us right after we leave. Come back and play again sometime. I, who the fuck is this? She talks sort of the same as Gossip Gardevoir, but I don't think that's her. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a Super Repel and... I guess just pause again. The, the only real reason I unpaused it there is because it's to explain the thing about the the resolutions and why this episode looks a lot different than some of the previous ones. And so I could get that. I remembered about that that little line of dialogue. So we'll be right back again. Oh, actually, psych! I forgot this was, I forgot about the whole cutscene here about the gears finally turning again after Adrian left. Uh, and now we can actually go back to Reborn City a lot easier. Well, for a little while until we get locked out into a gate circus. Does anybody notice anything strange? The Grand Gate finally opened. So apparently this has been sealed for years. So this is a pretty big deal. Which, I mean, it seems kind of odd that you would think that Reborn's engineers would be able to find such a simple issue when just like the gears just started turning again. Well, whatever. I guess maybe they just didn't know how to get the fucking thing to open again. And it's implied that these are like, these are not just a couple of little doors, these are freaking huge. So, I guess maybe just nobody bothered. So, <laughs> it's the Grand stair Stairway guy kind of roughed up and Adrian's like, he's confused, he's like, where am I? <laughs> So he's pretty confused. He's like, where the fuck are we? This is a reborn city. He has no idea, like, doesn't recognize the place. 
Haven't you been here before? <laughs> Has he mentioned yet that he's a gym leader? Huh. I thought that- Oh, I think he's about to mention it. The cabins in the port and the lake is brown. <laughs> well, I mean, it kind of looks a little bit like purplish to me due to the, like the toxic though. No, I guess it is. I, I guess it is brown. Never mind. Lived in a born city my whole life. So a lot of things went down in the years that Adrian spent down there. He claims it was only an hour, but uh, he was in that. Uh, well, I guess I couldn't call it the the room of spirit and time from Dragon Ball because that kind of works like completely backwards, but. <laughs> it's the complete opposite of what happened in there. I think someone's gone a little... Which kind of begs the question, like, why didn't... Why hasn't, like, 10 years passed since we were down there? But I guess it works different for everybody. It seems to be something with Adrian specifically, because... Last time you saw... Okay. Because, like, Adrian... He's gonna explain in a little bit how Adrian going in there and falling coincided with the, with the gates not opening at all after that. A perfect, brilliant blue, Azarine. Oh, so that's like the lake between Apophil and... Re okay, so it's only a lake in between those two, like separating uh, Reborn and Apophil? Okay. Well, I guess that explains a lot then. So, he's like telling us like how Reborn was before everything went to shit, apparently. And I don't remember where this... Uh... I think he's about to mention it, that it's been like 10 years. Um, I seem to remember him mentioning specifically the amount of time that he hypothesized, or that Kane concludes he was gone. Okay, yeah, so he's a gym leader, and he is the gym leader of that fucked up, just destroyed, forgotten gym in Coral Ward. So, wait, how, Gar so Gardevoir knew all along. The Coral War Gym. I wonder who the reserve was. <laughs> so we have to go down to Coral War, which is actually not that far away. I mean, it would just be going into Obsidia here. And then just uh, going down, so... I wouldn't bother to, like... To pause for that. And now that I mention it, let me go ahead and switch into... Well, actually, the, the next big battle coming up is Radimus himself. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. So, he's just like in disbelief. <laughs> he must be dreaming. By your reaction, okay, I guess it's Radimus who comes to the conclusion that Adrian is not from this era, so to speak. Yeah, because he's he's describing like leaving this morning. This whole <laughs> this whole city is wrong. So it's like some time distortion shit. When the city was repopulated, eh, Amethyst reading leading the restoration project again a huge allegory for what actually happened on that website or in her like little league that she set up designated several buildings to remain untouched historical artifacts or other places this gym was one such building okay so wait when did this repopulation take place it seems like it was rather recently if if the gym was presumably already destroyed and amethyst left it as it was oh the blackouts and earthquakes so it was so pr there was probably a huge like citywide catastrophe and everybody had to leave if they're describing it as a fucking repopulation jesus she believed that its original owner would soon come to attend it yeah so she, he, he's never heard of this really confused yeah he's only been here for about an hour or he's he was only down there for what he he thinks it's an hour
You've been frozen in time. Okay, but does he specify how long? I just remember 10 years from somewhere. Someone reported they had seen some kind of light. And so presumably, like, one of the theories is that Lynn also was down there and she is that voice. But somehow it caused, it just caused her to age rapidly and come back out in present day. Man, I don't know. Though I guess there is some grounds to say that it works differently for each person, considering that no time has passed since we were down there, for some reason. In the Grand Gates. So yeah, he axes them as normal. Then that confirms it. The gates have been inoperational for years. Okay, so he doesn't say more than a decade ago. Oh, shit. So not even just 10 years, more than a decade ago, he said that they suddenly ceased to function. So maybe like 10 to 15 years since Reborn has been anywhere near like <laughs> ideal or as like, I mean, Adrian described it as being pretty damn nice. You were inside the ruin the entire time. It really doesn't, but I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's one of those things where it just fucking happens. The gates did not function while well. Adrian. Yeah, that's that's the conclusion I came to as well. And they suddenly began working again when he left. The light shining in the hall was coming from something underground. Mm, I would say maybe that's like the meteor or something, like Arceus's power, man, I don't know. How that could possibly stop time. Oh, maybe he was, okay. If we're to presume that maybe we were that hour that he was, no, no, no. Because when we got there, when we first got there, that's when he walked up to us and said, oh, I've only been here for about an hour, so... Unless the whole walk through that tunnel took us an hour. Just like in canon time, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Then that would be the only way for it to make sense. For him to be like unconsciously frozen. And then when we entered, he unfroze. You guys see what I'm saying, kind of? And then he walks up to us and says, um, Yeah, it's been an hour since I've been here. There's no telling what kind of energy afflicts the place. Yeah, so he points out like how it doesn't really work with us. We shouldn't have... However, we had something you did not. Oh, right, we had the keys. Okay. So maybe because he went in there without them, that's why he got frozen. They were enough to unlock you from the spell of frozen time. More than 10 years. I mean, I don't know how what that's supposed to mean. Is that supposed... I mean, I guess maybe Amethyst left it uh, ambiguous so that she could ride around that in case something changes in the future. So that she doesn't have to completely retcon stuff. Because more than 10 years could mean, like, a year in three months, or it could mean, like, 12 years. <laughs> that's a huge difference. Pretty significant. So what is he going to do? So he's going to describe how he's going to rebuild reborn uh or help and fix the place or at least fix the gym got your work cut out for you and he's like nah nigga not just the gym the whole city i'm gonna fix that up and i guess it makes sense like that's why we need to be locked out of reborn for like three episodes straight uh because i mean yeah it's like samson ciel charlotte tara that's four gym leaders that were locked out of this place um, probably in a few parts time. And meanwhile, Adrian's the one fixing up the city. Like, that's the whole theme of episode 16. Is that we're coming, we're gonna come back to Reborn, make our glorious return. And Reborn city is gonna be fixed up. There's someone in charge, so... Yeah, Amethyst is in the Grand Hall, and he's gonna go, he's gonna dip and check it out. So... After that goes down, Radimus is <laughs> Radimus is actually gonna offer to take me back to his castle with him, which is am amazing. I would hate to walk all the way down, all the way over there. We still have two gym battles to do. 
Do you, do you want to welcome me? Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, so. Oh god, the chest puzzle is coming up. Coming up. I guess it's not too difficult, but more so time consuming if you mess up. So, what what is this what, what is this man's hat? Oh, a Gallade and <laughs> goodness gracious. This man actually put on a Gallade cosplay. The perceived crisis has been averted. Well, it was never really a crisis, I mean. If Radimus wanted to, he could have just told Gardevoir to teleport back to him and never have con confronted L at all. I am, <laughs> I am but a humble Gallade. <laughs> Wait, did Kane say that, or was that? Uh, I think it was Kane. I mean, you would think that be he'd be into costumes. Okay, that actually sounded. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I mean, considering like his like how he's always like happy and stuff, and never takes things too seriously. So, I guess that's like his. Okay, that's like his normal look, I guess, because that's the look that he dons in his avatar. When you actually go to fight him, like in a sprite. <laughs> Divine taste of fashion. I have somebody who? Oh, it's hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, this is pretty trippy because it turns out, I guess he can brainwash people because now I would like to introduce the estate's newest butler, Elias. <laughs> that is clearly L. And Luna's like, why? Just why? <laughs> Someone she desperately wants to avoid. And Luna's an yeah, Luna's an odd one. <laughs> so, so I guess he can brainwash people after all, which is... Well, I guess maybe Gardevoir did that. I would presume Gardevoir did it. I don't like the feeling of that person. I mean, I wouldn't either. That's... Ah, man, I fucking hate that all. Oh, that's right, so he's in a- oh, oh, okay, now it starts to add up. Kind of? Because, I mean, the only reason I got the Amicus Pendant taken away from me in the first place is because we went down there. So now, okay, so you got it back. This is the object to which you refer, the Amicus Pendant. So Radimus has it now. Interesting. Which... Makes sense, because that was Anna's Pendant. Right? Yeah, pretty sure that was Anna's. Exactly how did I come? Well, that's a good question. And to ask, oh my god, he's breaking the fourth wall now. I can't, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> hmm. None could better. So, does that mean he's the original owner of that? That I will refuse to return it to you? I will implore you to acquiesce. Acquiesce me on faith alone. God, man, it makes too much sense for him not to be Anna and Noelle's father. I will keep this object. And I guess Kane just doesn't question it. I'm really beginning to doubt if siding with him was really the right thing to do. <laughs> he acts so strange. Well... I don't know. I like Radimus as a character a lot more than L anyway, so and I'm, I may, I am pretty sure after reading some of the comments on my on my uh, the videos that just came out for Reborn, I'm pretty sure that was the right choice. And considering the fact that you have to beat the Arceus if you side with Radimus. So siding with L is more like an easy way out. We are live at the Van Halen Castle. 
So basically we get a limited amount of chess pieces. White is us, presumably. And I think black is them, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So they just said, you can move the pieces however you want and you just have to get a checkmate with them. And of course, they get progressively harder. I mean, this is mostly just the explanation, so I'm gonna skip through most of this because I have already, yeah, I already know uh, how to work this puzzle. There are also new restrictions on each of us. Yeah, she can't move the pieces, but I cannot capture any of them. So it's a pretty neat like chess puzzle, and and of course, every time I actually solve a puzzle, then. The chess piece turns into a trainer that I guess <laughs> Rattlemus has just taken prisoner. Okay. This one should be pretty easy. Uh, this is a pawn, so. And, we're, and we have kings, so. Uh, I can only capture diagonally, so I basically just have to make sure he doesn't move like this way. So he can't move this way. Wait, hold on. Because he can only move one space, but he can move in any direction. So that's a check. So he has to move somewhere. Right? But if he moves here, then it's not... Then it's not checkmate. I don't know, just... Yep, I, <laughs> I knew it. Damn it, this is the easiest one I'm already fucking up. <sighs> oh, and I guess I found out with a little bit of experimentation that I actually cannot place my chop- I can't- uh, uh, bleh. I can't place myself in check anyway, so... Okay, so then how am I supposed to pressure him? So then that means this pawn has to move here. To force him to move. But then he would just move here and it would be no different. I don't. What? And what about this? I mean, if I can't place myself in check, then there's no. Then I have to. At least. Hmm. piece has to be here, right? Because I can't move the king there, because then I'll be in, uh, I'll be in check. What is going on? See, because if I move the king here, he's gonna say that I made, yeah, I made an illegal move. And then the pawn can only capture diagonally, so this is the only way I can pressure him. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something really obvious. How each piece attack, Or maybe I'm not remembering exactly how the king attacks. Because... Or, or maybe either that or this is not a pawn. I don't see how it's possible with a pawn. Oh, okay, so this is not, <laughs> that's not a pawn. That's a... What is this? This is a rook. Oh, you see? Okay. Okay, I thought it was a pawn, but it was not at all. Fuck. <laughs> I wasted a whole lot of time trying to figure out something that is probably impossible. Okay. So I can put him from check into check all the way over here. Which means he has to move down. Where could he move that would make it impossible? He can't, you know, he has to move here, or here, or here. Oh, I think that's checkmate. Wait, let me see. That would be checkmate, go ahead. Just one more trial, of course. Uh, so he turns it into a trainer. Let's... A lot of these trainers are pretty easily exploitable. Like I know one has like a Wobbuffet or some shit. So that's why I'm saving. Oh, please tell me I'm faster than this. 
That's a clean to a KO. Go ahead. That is not that is not allowed, friend. Go ahead and die. Oh, that's gonna Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Uh not as much as I thought. We're nice and bulky out here. Okay, that that is not good. We gotta go into my boy Riyaki. Jesus! This better kill. Ah, go ahead! Yum! And because I have... I have bought a lot of healing items. I bought like... <laughs> I just randomly bought 99 fucking... Super Potion. So, healing is not a problem around here. And I got some... I got a lot of Mumu Milks because I remembered that... Oran Berries equal... Mumu Milk from the Mill Tanks out, out in Route 1. So... The <laughs> gains up here uh, for this one. I think there's three, but three in total. So okay, this one. Okay, what is this? Is that the pawn? No, I'm pretty sure the pawn was shorter. This is Bishop. Okay, that makes sense because uh -huh, I I see what you did. It's a Bishop. And then this is that's a knight, and then this is a rook that we already established. So this is a bishop. So I guess first things first, I have to place the king in check. Putting the bishop here seems nice because then I can't actually... Oh wait, no. Can the knight capture me? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, but I, I can only move on black pieces. And the needle queen's gonna get me if I do that. So the... Okay, so the bishop cannot check the king at all. So then how am I going to check him? Pawns also cannot move backwards. Interesting. Okay, let me try something. Okay, let me... I'm trying to think. Shit, I put my I can't put my knight anywhere here. Otherwise, the rooks can just capture me and and then that'll be it. And if I put the knight here, the the pawn can just capture me and then that'll be over. So I guess the knight's probably not the one that'll pressure the king either. It's probably gonna be the rook that has to do it. So if I put, okay, let me see. If I put my rook here, then nothing can capture it, theoretically. And then the king has to move. And then from there, I can start figuring things out. So I guess there's my pressure, so to speak. And then the king has to move. It's a, I limit him to three these three spaces. Otherwise, otherwise he's gone. And that gives me a lot more options because then none of his other units can capture me at all. So he moves here. Oh my goodness! I don't know if this is gonna work actually because because the bishop can only cover. I can only cover two spaces at a time because the bishop is on is on the black tile. If I could move on to the white tiles, man, that would be probably my solution. So maybe my approach to this is a little bit wrong. I don't know. I really don't. Because I'm pretty sure that the, the knights cannot cover these two spaces at the same time. So maybe I'm taking the wrong approach. Maybe I have to force him into a different space. Maybe if I put my rook here. Okay, you know what? Let me let me go back and re-enter this room. I want to get my 
my rook here so that I can force him to either move here, which... Because then it's only two spaces to cover. This one, and this one. And I can definitely do that. That seems a lot more feasible, but I don't know, I don't know how to get him here. That's the thing. Is it actually impossible? Like, what? What is going on? And then the knight doesn't work, because any any space I put him in, I'll get captured. And then that's that. <sighs> okay, this is, this is nerve-wracking. Like, I'm really tempted just to look up the solutions. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I did last time, too. Because I'm a scumbag like that. I I I I am figuring out that I, I am not smart. <laughs> this is don't this is crazy. Okay. And if I put him here, he can just capture me. But that would involve going on a black tile, which this can cover. This bishop. I'm pretty sure one way or the, or another this bishop is gonna have to go up here. Because, uh... I mean, the problem is that he can go to this tile and immediately escape. Oh wait, no, I'm stupid. I think, uh, I think I have the solution already. I think that's it, right? Could it just move away, but... Oh, I think uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm blocking my own bishop. From getting to him, he can just move forward. Yeah. So in reality, this the, the tile I need to be in is probably it needs to attack this tile because he can't move here, can't move here, can't move here. So this is the tile I need to be in. I need to be able to capture. So I have to be here. Yeah. So I think now that's that's checkmate. Oh well, right, he can capture my my thing. Okay, so I think I had the right idea earlier by putting the the, the rook away from the king because he can he can only move one space, but obviously away from the queen. I think that's it. The king can still move out to those white spaces. Is there a way I can? Uh, but that's why I need the. That's why I need the rook close. Like that's. Uh, fuck. Yeah, that's why I needed the, the knight. I mean, not the knight. The rook to be close so that I could attack the white space, as well. Okay, so what does Kane say? A way I can attack... The knight is really shitty because he can only really attack one space at a time. So that's kind of limiting me. Hmm. Again, I think eh, maybe I have, the, I have the wrong approach. So maybe I should be using the knight to get him to move out of the way. And then... Ah, oh, but that doesn't really work because... The knight only has one square of pressure. Well, I have to exit anyway. You know what, man? Fuck <laughs> this. Fuck this. You can say if I like, I move the the knight here. Well, first of all, I can get captured. Same thing if I try and move him, like say here, I'll get captured by a rook. Like that's. I mean, yeah, from an enemy rook, so there's actually no point in doing that. God, this is stressful. It really is. So I think it, ha it has to be the rook putting him in check. It has to be. But the question is where? 
Can't even move him up here. <sighs> It'd be nice if I could move him here, but I, it doesn't doesn't look like I can. Maybe, what if I put him, let's say, here, and then... But then the knight has to get him out of here. Which would involve putting him... Here, and then there's no... Or here, but then there's no pressure, because... I can just get captured. Fuck. <laughs> this is... What is this? Okay. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, I'm officially a goddamn idiot. And, in fact, I ended up consulting one of my own videos for this, so... Durr, I can use the knight and just place him here. And none of these pieces can attack me. And I can just cover both of these both of these spaces at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. And then I can basically just have the same setup as before. Place this here, okay, and then what is left? Well, okay, the queen has to not capture me, so I have to be like, all stealthy like, like right here. <sighs> that took me way, <laughs> that took me way too long. Ah, shit, Psyche is probably gonna blow me away. Damn, that did nothing! Meta fight is strong. Go ahead and get him. Nice. So now I think it's one more. And you know what? Like, if this takes me too long, then I might just, uh. Oh no, there's two more. Yeah, I forgot about this. If it takes too long, then I can just, uh. Go back to go back to watching my previous playthrough and figuring it out there. Infinite potential will be your guiding force. So they can give hints and ooh, okay, this looks kind of man. Do I even want to, do I want to take time with this? Like, uh, man, it's late. I, I'm I'm tired. Okay, you you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm gonna bitch out. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, this one turned out to be a lot more simple than I thought. So it turns out like most of these pieces are just red herrings, and you can just move the pawn that was here across the board, make him a knight, and boop bop, beep bop. Infinite potential, yeah, okay. When one can look past what is presented. Man, that's dirty. I fuck am with this. <laughs> it is a Nirvana. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh well, when she sees that, we'll be meeting her in the darkness soon. That's because she's the next gym after what's her face. After she's the next gym after Radimus. Okay. Go ahead and save here. I think this is the guy with the Boba Fett, or maybe not. Ah, shit, of all things, a beldum. And it only, it only knows fucking takedown, so... Well, at least it's not strong. Give me the boost, go ahead. Ah, unlucky. That did, that's a, <laughs> that did some damage, wait! I was expecting Metagross, honestly. Oh, that, that probably kills. Never mind. Next up is probably... Oh, well, Counter can't even hurt you, so... I know one of these trainers has a Wobba Pit, so... You're probably fit to fight that, definitely. 
So I've got some Gardevoir. I remembered there were four because Gardevoir is definitely one of the opponents. Well, I guess not really opponents because she doesn't really do anything, but she tells you if you're right or wrong. And once again, I'm a, I'm a lazy ass motherfucker, so I'm gonna continue watching my own video and I'll be back with the solution. Uh, and we are back with the solution to this one. Okay, he's gonna turn the king to a... So basically what you had to do is, well, first of all, you have to make sure that your king was out of check. Which you could do with this, but this is the piece, this is the bishop that you're gonna use to put the king in check. Put these two pieces here. This queen is from the pawn that made it all the way to the end of the board. Stuff like that. And you can't let your bishop get captured, so you just put the remaining piece in front of the queen. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and get it. All these are just Wobba Fed, so it's basically GG because... Okay, actually, you know what? I'm interested to see what Nature Power actually even does. But I'm also afraid of getting hit with Mirror Coats. Ooh, that's probably... Yeah, that's a miracle move. Well, just enough to not get O code. And yeah, it's it's really not like counter would have done anything, so. And I think as soon as I enter that room, I'll be forced into the battle, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the time to actually just go all the way back. Damn, this really is just like a rehash of the episode from the old playthrough. Because I might just end it after Radimus and continue next time. So we're gonna go all the way up. And since it is indeed a double battle, let's let me see what I want for my team. You haven't even leveled up yet, so maybe a combo of you two would be nice. Just to kind of see how simple works in this, uh, well, simple calm mind's gonna be super broken in this field effect. And I'm kind of hoping that they'll target Mamoswine. So that my, my, uh, crazy diamond can just clean house. So Radimus is gonna spot, spout out some nonsense about chess and, like, how it relates, relates to Pokemon battling and stuff like that. So I am ready. Uh, Gardevoir is a sassy one, okay. I mean, Gardevoir is pretty broken. She's like level 65 in this battle. 6 on 6 double battle, okay. The tactics and art of Pokemon can be said to be not unlike though. I mean, she, he's not really wrong, but Chess doesn't have RNG. The archaic mechanics and strategy are assembled or considered. Yeah. I guess that makes sense why he's a... Didn't he used to be a single battle, I think? But... I guess like for his character, double battle works a lot better. So he's got Reuniclus. Okay, that's not <laughs> that's not good. He's got a Reuniclus and a Gallade. Probably gonna go and use fighting type moves on my Mamoswine. In fact, I'm counting on it so that I can set up safely. So my special attack probably went up by like plus six. Oh what? Oh shit. It actually has um, a used trick room on me. That is not okay. So I'm going to use Phantom Force on Delayed. Hopefully I'm faster than it after the trick room. And then I'm just going to go for the Air Slash on Reuniclus. Although that did quite a bit. And Knockoff is going to blow me away probably. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> that did not work out the way I wanted it to. In fact, I'm just in a soft reset. Like, oh no. <laughs> can't believe it fucking used uh, Trick Room. Which means, you know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm, I might just go ahead and... Uh, use the combination of Air... I have to use Air Slash because otherwise... Psychic will be turned into a Rock type move and won't do anything to... To Gallade. So I'm just going to knock it out and go for the Earthquake. That should kill. Okay, yeah, Gallade's pretty weak on the physical side. Goes for Trick Room, that is fine with me. Okay, this is also very much okay with me, and I can just go into my... Nice! Nice miss! 
and he's going to go for double Ultra Potion, probably, so I can go ahead and take this opportunity to just knock out Metagross. Yeah, that's what I thought. And it'll be wasting precious um, Trick Room turns, although I suspect he's going to do it again. As he just switches out completely. Oh, and I'm dead, unfortunately. But now we're getting hella experience. The meta Russ is gonna come back out. I don't see any reason not to just go out into Riyaki and just keep going for that EQ. Meta Gross is gone. Nice. Oh, but the superpower is probably gonna. Oh, that's right. He has contrary. I didn't I forgot about that. But please tell me Trick Room ends soon. Please. I'm going to go for double priority. Hope... Oh, man. I really don't know if it's going to knock it out. Oh, no. And now both of my Pokemon are probably gone. I have leftovers. That's crazy. Please tell me I didn't miscalculate and Trick Room actually ends. Uh, I don't think it does. I have to switch out. Why does Trick Room last? Oh, what? That killed me. Why? Uh, <laughs> oh no, it has adaptability now. And oh, and with this nerfed Gardevoir to level 60, that's nice. But still, why is Trick Room still in effect? Fucking dead. Oh, it has the item, probably, that's Reborn exclusive. And because of Trick Room, I mean, I blew myself back. Oh no, but Gardevoir's probably gone now too. That was a crit? Why is Gardevoir so strong? And I, I lose now because all I have left is Blaziken. Fuck me! <laughs> okay, clearly I need something better to take on. You know what? Uh, the thing is, this is the only thing fast enough to really get rid of that maybe I'm maybe I'm focusing on the wrong Pokemon though maybe I should be focusing more on the on the what do you call it on the the Reuniclus because Trick Room was the thing that fucked me up so I guess that only makes sense if I just don't let it go off what did what did um, Nature Power turn into it turned into... Oh, Ancient Power. That doesn't do anything for me. If I lead with Crazy Diamond, though, it's just gonna use Knock Off and I'll die. Nevertheless, let's try this, though. I do want to take advantage of Simple and all that stuff. Yes, I am ready. So I can just go for Phantom Force and Calm Mind. Well, even if he doesn't attack me this turn, he's just gonna- Oh my god, that knocks me out anyway, like... Yeah, so I definitely cannot lead off with Swoobat. But maybe something like this could work? Probably, because then I would be going for Earthquake and Crunch. I'm ready. Uniclus is the Pokemon that keeps fucking me up. So let's just hope Crunch actually KOs. Even though, oh man, I'm probably gonna die to that. Man, I needed this too for the... the what you call it? The... Metagross. But I, I did get rid of the Trick Room, so that's nice. And I may as well start bulking up now that the only two Pokemon on the field are indeed physical types. <laughs> Zen Headbutt still did a chunk though. But if I can at least take out Metagross, that will be good. 
Nice. That's a, that's exactly what I wanted to see. The crit, <laughs> the crit probably mattered, but yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go for high jump kick. I don't even care. Please hit. Nice. Okay, this is going a lot better. Because now you're gonna die to Thunderbolt. And I still have my Elite Tross at full health to deal with the Sloking in particular. And now I think I feel safe going into Crazy Diamond and going for that Calm Mind. And is, are these his last two? If so, I would be very pleased with that. Nice! Alright, I think now it's probably over. Even though that still did a fuck ton. And Sloking didn't die. Hmm, this might be the right move until I can get rid of Sloking. Skull does. Okay. Now, I think now we're in the we're in the safe. We're we're safe now. Even though Ginja X unfortunately faints. But now we can go into Riaki and I can just go for the Air Slash plus the I'll just go for Phantom Force just for a safe measure. Wait, how does Moonblast miss? Thought it was 100 percent accurate. Friends? Okay, now Gardevoir is down. Phew, that was a battle. And again, a fuck ton of money. I could swear, you know what? I have the video right in front of me. I can see how much Radimus gives me in the previous versions. Alright, I was right! Uh, the trainers do give you more money. I checked my- in my previous playthrough, I checked the video. Radimus only gives you $6,000. Given that's quite a bit, but it's not as much as 21000 Jesus! So we got the Millennium Badge. Nice. So Pokemon up to level 65 will obey me without question. And I got Trick Room, which is essentially you. I mean, it's not useless. I guess my team is a little slow on the slower side, but man, I don't know. I don't think I will see myself using it. It would be very situational. Especially because my, my team is based around uh, Speed Boost, Blaziken, and Swoobat's also very, very fast. So Luna's the next gym leader, and she's going to face us in the Iola Valley. And she's dark type, so that should be pretty easy for us because Blaziken just blows that all the way back. Same thing with, well unfortunately this is another gym where Swoobat doesn't really do that well, but what else do I have for, for dark? I mean, I guess dark is also weak to bug, I don't really have that. And the rest of my Pokemon are just kind of, eh, okay. So the, the lights have went out and it is officially a Team Meteor raid. They're here for their fucking keys. For it was, I remember when this was like the, the end of the version and it would just play this cutscene and it's like, oh, well you finished Pokemon Reborn's latest update. So Luna basically dips alone. <laughs> alone in the dark of Kane. Well, I guess he is all the way over there. So, and Kane leaves me too? Come on. Anyway, hmm. Do I want to end it here? I am starting to kind of lose my voice, so maybe it's better if I end it here. It's a good 50 minutes. Even though most of it was spent struggling on puzzles. Oh, please tell me I can actually... Oh, I probably can't heal my Pokemon. Can I? Well, there's probably, knowing Amethyst, there's probably some golden, like, light shards or light crystals, I don't know what they're called, uh, outside. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and save, and that'll be all for today.